To connect your Tap OC 520WS with the iPhone. First, you will need to download Tapo app from the App Store. You can just tap on it and then look for the Tapo. And then the app should be visible somewhere. I've pre downloaded it, so it's called actually TP Link Tapo. Uh, we can open the app and also make sure to connect your camera to the power source. Uh, it's pretty easy. There's a cable sticking out and also the power cord is included with the package. So now when it's connected to your power source, you will need to click on add device. Uh, it should boot for a moment and when there's a red a green light blinking, that means it's ready. So we can search for our camera C520 WS. Then you need to check a version you own and you can do it by flipping the gimbal down and to look for uh, the code. Uh, there's uh, the version right here. So I'm going with the first one as it said right there. Now there's two options for the setup. You can do the Ethernet one or wireless one. If you want to go with Ethernet, then there's the cable for Ethernet right here, but I'm going to go with the wireless. Next is uh, to uh, already uh, to set it to already read red and green, which I mentioned in the beginning, and allow location, and connect to your Tapo device using uh, Wi-Fi network. So you need to swipe down on your iPhone, select Wi-Fi networks, and then open them. Then there's the Tapo cam right here that we need to click on. Now, when we go back, you will see that the screen is different. It will begin pairing your camera with your phone. Now it will search for the Wi-Fi network for your camera and I'm going with this one. So let's move to the next step. You might need to enter a password, uh, but uh, you can also reselect the network right Connecting there if you like. Wi -Fi. Wi-Fi connected. And our camera is successfully connected. You can rename it, then change the place where it will stay. You can also assign a different icon and then just uh, skip through the introduction. You can of course read through it or accept to subscriptions and etc. I'm gonna skip it. And here we have it, our camera is successfully connected with our smartphone, I mean actually iPhone.